Is welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Bottom left hand corner, we have Zen starting as the Brown Protoss. Bottom right hand corner, we have Neon Sword starting as the Blue Terran. This is on uh, Neon Sylphid, which is basically Polypoid 2.0, right? This base, which has the hallucinated mineral field, so that the uh, map maker makers can showboat uh, that ticking timeline, hallucinated critters out there. Third, with kind of the weird base where. There's ramps, but it's not a, you know, kind of ramps, not exactly. Uh, for people that are watching live, I might be shifting my streaming schedule to later in the day because of shifting life schedules. We'll see. I'm kind of playing it by ear at this stage. I still might try to maintain. We'll see how it goes moving forward. As far as matches that are done, I'm going to be doing some professional StarCraft stuff for the people on YouTube. And that will be on stream only, and then they'll be uploaded to StarCast TV. So check out StarCast. There's, uh, I think, quite a bit of delay between when I record them and when they go live, though. Uh, but those are going to be basically live Twitch only, and then StarCast TV uploads from there. And with all of that, we can actually focus on the game at hand. Game 1, Zen just flat out showing some beastly macro. And Neon Sword kind of went for an off-timing attack. It caught Zen by surprise. It caught me by surprise but wasn't able to take out the third. Looks like a gateway first opener, barracks and a front door seal for Neon Sword. We'll see if he goes for that one, goes for the factory machine shop into expand build once again. Both of these guys, I think pretty talented. Uh, I think around the C or B level. I'll have to ask Sen heads up uh, where he is. All these guys actually at LA land I don't know what it is about Southern California and Brood War talent, or at least like West Coast Brood War talent. There just seems to be a lot of good players in a very concentrated area. And that's, it just feels like that's always been the case. Refinery up. We are seeing the initial SCVs in there. It looks like the third base is going to be scattered first for Neon Sword. Cybernetic Squirb after Zealot. And then going to go ahead and scout out towards the 12th clock base as well, putting that second pylon inside his base. Front door seal for Neon Sword, and let's see if he also goes light on that initial Marine play once again. Because after seeing that in the previous match, if I was Zen, I might be a little bit... Honestly, I might have even skipped that initial Zelt to get an earlier Dragoon out, and maybe even gone with earlier Dragoon pressure. Especially on a map that's rampless like this. Factory being placed, SCVs off gas to go ahead and get additional minerals. It looks like we are seeing so Neon Sword this time opting to go ahead and get a second Marine, maybe realizing that it was a bit risky in the previous match. Range being upgraded, that SCV is going to be able to wander in. Zealot kind of out of position. I'm not sure what it was doing across that 9 o'clock. Maybe it was going to go ahead and try to engage that SCV at a forward location, but otherwise getting the scouting. No third pylon as of yet. The Dragoon looks like it wants to go ahead and race to the corner, block that SCV out. It's gotten some good damage on it. Good blockading by Zen. Fortunately, not able to get that last stutter shot. 10 left. Is he going to be able to find him? Gets him. Zelt making its way to bottom right-hand corner. Probe being pushed back. Three Marines there to defend this time. And Ian Sword going to go ahead and... Actually, we'll see how this works out. So dropping that bunker. The Zealot's running up to engage. It is separated from that Dragoon. Nexus being built before third pylon. For Zen. And a first Vulture coming out. So maybe a little bit greedy here. So going for an initial Vulture that is also going to cut in. And we'll see if there's a Pylon wall on the front. But that's going to cut into Dragoon production. So might be able to get some probe kills. Especially with this Dragoon and Zealot not on the defensive front. Let's see if this Dragoon, once it spawns, if it, this is going to be close. So Vulture making its way up. The Zealot just testing that front door. Confirming that that command center is in fact being built. It's returning to home base. But yeah, the Vulture able to shoot the gap before the Dragoon able to get there. And if it can get some space, might be able to get some probe kills. At least get some economic disruption. Well, nope. Getting caught on the corner. Did some damage. Forced some scattering, but not able to get a kill overall. Zealot returning back. Next is coming online. Range kicking in. Forcing one SCV to go ahead and build on that front. Neon Sword going for mine research first. Building a siege tank alongside. Three SCVs back in gas, second factory. 
up and running. And so, a little bit of a bullet dodge there from Zen. He's tacking on that second gateway. He does have the robotics facility already up. Let's see if he opts just to go for two gateway observatory. Also has a probe just kind of hanging out already. So yeah, dropping that observatory as part of the blockade on the front. Not sure I like that play. Or, or like that. For just in case when you run into those pushes and they're vulture heavy and then you lose your observatory on the front. But otherwise it's going to help be a little bit more of a blockade to get that blockade up a little bit more rapidly at the very least for Zen. First observer on the way. And so yeah, I'd not be shocked, especially with this probe already in position for Zen to go for that quick third to maintain the economic advantage. Second machine shop being plopped down. Engineering bait being... No additional SCV scout here for Neon Sword as well to go ahead and confirm what Zen is up to. And Zen, with a decent Dragoon Force, actually with a decent arm count, already has the economic lead over Neon Sword. It's at least tied the supply count overall. But it's nothing but siege tanks for Neon Sword from this point on. Engineering Bay built, I assume to respect the Dark Templar once again. Yeah, missile turret there at the natural. No second gas for Zen. So just going to go ahead and chalk up the minerals. And now, yeah, going to go ahead and grab that Nexus. Straight up bear. Engineering Bay floating out to scout just in case a Reaver was coming across uh, the wall. And you can see the three siege tanks, or two siege tanks, moving their way back just in case there was a Reaver back towards the main for Neon Sword. But yeah, so... Going to sit back. Third and fourth gateway tacking on for Zen. Citadel of a Dune as well. Get that Zelt leg speed in the mid-game, make a transition towards Arbiter. Third and fourth factory tacking on for Neon Sword. I don't see an armory as of yet, so I have a feeling this is, is potentially going to be a four factory push for Neon Sword. Or, and... Oof. Get out of there, Observer. Ah! It's gone, but does confirm the four factory. One problem I've heard from many Terrans is just having surface area to build on this map. Simultaneously both droppable and uh, compact. But yeah, no armories, nothing but supply depots being dropped. Mines and Vulture Speed being upgraded, so... Yeah, I wouldn't be shocked to see a no-weapon upgrade mid-game push around, I would say, the 10-minute mark? Maybe 9-minute mark? From Neon Sword. Zen is going to be trying to defend three bases. He's got four gateways up. I don't know if he's going to have Zelt leg speed or not. But he's going to need to, yeah, take more forward position to see it coming and engage it. Neon Sword actually going now. So going very, very quickly. As soon as those four factories are online. Around around the 830 mark. Dragoon's pressing up for Zen to go ahead and engage it. He's even on supply right now, eating a lot of siege tank shots. But now he knows that attack's coming. Starting to press forward, trailing that army. That army's a little bit spread out. So that's going to be some quick siege tank kills before they're able to engage on the front. Yeah, and a lot of these siege tanks getting obliterated in transit. Finally sieging but not before there's only three remaining. There's plenty of Dragoons to go ahead and wipe out what's left. The SCVs are able to attack the front, but that's, yeah, piecemeal. And unfortunately, yeah, Neon Sword didn't have, a little bit too early, didn't have the Vultures alongside to kind of do the blockading and to set up the siege groupings as he was going. SCVs now backing up to go ahead and retreat. But this, yeah, that is not spell good things for Neon Sword moving on. He's going to have to shell up, maybe hope... Yeah, already plopping down that third command center to maybe hope that uh, Zen will play a little bit more defensively and passively following this up, but Zen, mixing it up, does lose a Dragoon to some mines. Some nice mine placement there from Neon Sword overall. But more Dragoons starting to press forward to go ahead and get that front door seal. They don't see any additional siege tanks as of yet. I take it back one siege tank making its way towards the front. 
but the barracks gonna get wiped out and zen actually really pressing into this he can go ahead and back off he doesn't need to be as aggressive here but continuing to walk zealots forward clear all those mines and attacking into the front with this attack force continuing to rally troops forward one siege tank down one siege tank left and actually with what he has actually might be able to punch through the zealot able to get on top of that siege tank behind all of this and that is the last bit of defense at the natural expansion the dragoons now marching forward scv's pulling off the line to try to deal with zen's dragoons so nice instincts on his part the reinforcements no longer coming though still that's a lot of lost mining time here for neon sword and zen with a huge macro lead behind this and he's seen that command center being built Neon Sword's definitely not in position to go ahead and filter out troops. Now the Zelts are going to have leg speed to do some mine drags. But with just three siege tanks, it's going to be a tall feat for Neon Sword to defend both his natural expansion and go ahead and grab that third. In the meantime, Zen has tacked on a slew of gateways. All sorts of gateways. Has that third up and running. Yeah, was hoping to go ahead and get that just for free, and that wasn't going to happen. Zen already there. Continuing to clear those mines on the forward field, and it looks like he's continued to apply pressure, where here could have just been a, def a skeletal defense force and kind of to ward things off, but instead going to dive in. Zelt's once again getting on those rear siege tanks. Siege tank on the front getting wiped out. That was group prepared. The Dragoons, unfortunately, engaging that bunker. They're going to go ahead and back off from here. Still 30 supply lead for Zen. And good straights and go ahead and field another army. Now we can go ahead and grab a fourth with zero pressure. He can tech up if he wants to. Looks like he's going to go ahead and, yeah, grab that Stargate, that Templar Archives. He has not dropped a forge yet. But really hasn't been a big factor because there's still no armory on the opposite side either. Starport being built. Uh, barracks being rebuilt. Zelt's marching right back down to engage that army as it was trying to make its way up to that third. But yeah, able to just swarm and push these forces back. Once again, breaching that natural expansion. Zelt's right on top of those siege tanks. SCV's pulled off the line once again. Neon Sword desperately trying to hold into this, hold on to this match, but has just had continual troops in his natural. And hasn't been able to get that siege tank count up enough to repel Zen's attacks. Zen grabbing a fourth at the inside nine o'clock location. Finally, two siege tanks able to reestablish control and wipe out the remaining troops there, but another grouping of troops making their way this direction. So Zen, yeah, just happy to throw armies at that natural expansion to prevent Neon Sword from grabbing his third and just starve him from minerals in between, just marching those zealots straight across. And Neon Sword again with SCVs off the line and a call GG right there just doesn't have the economy to keep up. Well played overall. Wins the set, advances in the winner's bracket. Neon Sword is going to drop to the loser's bracket. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.